What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're gonna dive into IG filters. Dread Labs. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a face tattoo uh, Instagram filter uh, and we only need Photoshop for this so uh, don't worry if you have uh, don't have any 3D skills or anything. Um, we're gonna dive into those later but um, for now we can just use Photoshop for this. So uh, the software that we use for this is Spark AR. This is developed by Facebook itself. Um, and through this software you can make your own Instagram filters and upload them to, uh, to Instagram and Facebook basically. Uh, the software is free. Uh, so um, yeah, I recommend you go and play around with this because you can make some really fun things. Uh, so another thing you need is if you go to their website um, uh, and if you Google um, Spark your uh, reference, face reference assets. Uh, you'll get on this page, and you need to download these files that you can see right here. I already have these on my computer, so I'm not going to do it. Um, in this file, you'll find some face reference materials, and uh, what these are is I'm going to show you in Photoshop real quick. So this is one of these face references. This is uh, for a male face, um, and for the face tattoos that we're going to use, um, I just drew them on like this. And this is just so you can uh, have a little bit of reference, like where, sh uh, like the thing I drew here will be uh, underneath his eye. So um, if you're gonna uh, export this file, make sure that you only leave the tattoos there, um, and make sure you export like the full canvas. So make sure that these uh, the image size will be 180 by 180, or 1080 by 1080. Sorry. Uh, so now that we're in Spark AR, um, I'm going to show you around with the interface real quick. So on the right we have a property value uh, tab that we're uh, going to show up later. Uh, on the left here we have our scene. So um, as you can see in this 3D space, we have a camera of a phone. Uh, the focal distance, so this is like basically camera settings. Um, and a microphone, which uh, will record your audio if you're recording a video on Instagram filter. Um, here we have our assets, which will here will uh, our materials be like our 3D materials, but also our face tattoo. Um, so let's just get started, and I'll show you around this um, interface a bit better. Um, so if we're clicking on Add Object, uh, we click on a face tracker. Uh, this is a piece of uh, software that will track our face basically. So if I move my face around, you can see these arrows that they are actually like seeing where my face is moving. Um, if we add another object, which will be a face mesh. Uh, you can see that there's something tracking my face. It can see where my nose is, it can see where my eyes are, where my mouth is, what I'm, how I'm moving, etc. Um, so this is what we're going to use to uh, place our uh, face tattoos on. Uh, yeah, and let's just do it right now. So uh, because there's not, there isn't any material in here, that, that's why the, it's like the blocky texture is in here. Um, so if we click on materials, now we have now a random 3d material which is just like black and white gray kind of um, so if we're clicking on this um, uh, so if we double click on that we get like this properties tab for this material and to make it really easy for you guys you just, you just go to texture choose file and upload your face tattoos basically so as you can see my face tattoo isn't really lined up properly um, so what we can do about that is we're going to go to tiling options and click on offset and then we're going to enter a little offset in the y direction so this is the x direction this is the y direction as you can see this moves the face filter up a bit but now it's too high so let's just make it um just a little bit higher maybe yeah like this this should be fine um so yeah, that's quite easy actually uh, to do. So if you want to do some Instagram face filters, uh, you can do it like this. Um, if you want them to be a little bit more transparent, you can just reduce the opacity, like this. As you can see now in the left tab here, we have our materials. So this is the material that is applied on our uh, face mesh here. And the face tattoo is like the texture on this material, if that makes sense. So this goes on here, and this goes on here, and this goes in here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, um, if you have any questions, requests, uh, please let me know in the comments below, um, if you're interested in joining our Discord, you can click on the link in our description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.